There is one thing in your golf bag that could be costing you yards, and it's something that everybody uses on the tee box, and that is a tee peg. So it's how you set this up. Guys, welcome back to Get Good at Golf. I am Chris, and let's talk about tee height, because tee height is one big thing at the minute, and every time I get a lesson, they say, I'm struggling with driver, I'm not getting the distance that I want, and it's all because of how they are setting their tees up, just like these two here. So how many times do I see somebody set up a tee height just like this one here? So this is around about half an inch off the ground. It's not really for a fairway wood. It's not really ideal for your driver, but somebody maybe just starting will think, well, that gets it in the middle of my driver. All that's encouraging you to do now is to be able to hit down onto that golf ball to get a strike. And we don't want to hit down with the driver. We know what we ideally want to do with the driver is start to sweep that off the tee. So again, I'd be coming in nice and shallow. The club would start to work up. And if I swing properly now, if I put a good swing on this, all I'm going to do with that golf ball is catch the top of that. So we've got another tee down here now, which is around about an inch and a half high. So you'll see that, again, just behind the golf ball, we'll see that half the golf ball is above that club head. And for us, that's exactly where we want to see it. That's going to encourage you to start to hit up onto that golf ball. And if we can hit up onto the golf ball, guys, we're going to get better spin rates, better launch rates, and we're also going to get you more carry and more distance. You'll see by the picture on screen now from my golf spy, you can see how much distance you are potentially losing from teeing your ball down. It's around about 15 yards. And if that's a misdrive, that could be even more. It could be anything up to 30 40 yards you're losing off your tee shots for no apparent reason if i hit this one now that is a little bit low again is this the kind of ball fight you start to see because you might think well no i've teed it up a little bit higher but if i start to see this ball fight right here that low healy one that's working to the right hand side of the fairway or potentially into the trees then you might have your tee a little bit too low. That's why you're getting the ball launching ever so low, especially in the winter. You might be getting course out now. Somebody like Mid Handicap Dave over on my channel, the Everyday Golfer, he sometimes tees it too low. He doesn't get the carry, it launches too low. And especially in the winter, he's having a longer shot into the green. So if we could get it teed a little bit higher, we're going to optimize that carry. And then when the summer comes around, we're going to start to get more carry and more total distance. Again, you might be somebody who breaks a lot of tees. If you're breaking, a lot of tees that's going to be a picture of you hitting down into that golf ball your golf ball again might be teed too low and we don't want it teed too low because we want you to hit the longest drives possible in 2024 so if we can get that teed up a little bit higher i can get exactly the same setup now and i'm going to do again what you'll have seen in plenty of videos try and hit up onto this golf ball and if i can hit up onto this golf ball we'll get a totally different launch totally different ball fight and a much longer shot a much more solid shot off the face there fading back into the middle of the fairway a great ball fight twice or three times the height that's optimized my carry optimized my distance and that can help you in 2024.